Hey hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and you are watching Backup Baba. I hope you guys are doing great and thank you so much for your love and support to my YouTube channel. And I'm really sorry that videos were not coming since last 2 or 3 months because I was super busy on my ongoing projects. But the good thing is now I am again active on YouTube and in the coming days uh, you can see there are lots of knowledgeful videos are coming. So if you don't want to miss that particular videos then please hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of my new videos. So today in this video I am going to showcase you how to create a backup schedule policy. But before that uh, let's understand what is backup schedule policy. So basically a backup schedule policy uh, refers to a set of rules and guidelines that dictates when and how backups should be performed within an organization. So before wasting our time, uh, let's move uh, to create a schedule policy uh, with the help of Comcell console. So here I am going to log in over the Comcell console. So you have to choose the second option that is Comcell console. So here you need to provide the credentials. So let me put my credential here and click on OK. Now we have successfully logged into the Comcell console. So now we are going to create a schedule policy. So for that, uh, in the right hand side, you can see there is a tab called policies. So just click on policies. So once you click on the policies, you will get the list of all the policies uh, which are available in the Comcell console. So on the top of that, you have to click on a schedule policy. So once you click on the schedule policy, in the right hand side you will get the list of all the policies available in the console console so this policy might be the system created or might be you have already configured in the console console so now we are going to create a schedule policy for our virtual machines backup so here you just need to right click over the schedule policy and click on new schedule policy so once you click a pop-up will appear and here we have to provide a name for the schedule policy so you can give anything here so here I am giving just a schedule policy and I am creating this for virtual machine. So here I am just typing virtual machine. Uh, so in the type uh, by default uh, data protection is selected. So if you are creating this for backup, so you have to select the data protection and uh, if you are planning to a create a schedule policy for your secondary copy or backup copy or content index and all then you have to choose the options from the list so here i am keeping the data protection only so in the agent type once you click you will get the list of all the agents available so you have to select that particular agent uh, for which you are going to create this schedule policy for in our case suppose we are going to create this, this for virtual machines so here we will type virtual so you can see uh, I got this virtual server so you just need to select it for the virtual server suppose you are going to create it for the physical server then you have to select the Windows file system or you are planning to create a schedule policy for the laptop then you have to select the Windows file system and if you are planning for database backup then you have to select the MySQL Oracle whatever it depends how oh, which databases are available in your info. So here I have selected two things. Just uncheck this one. Yeah. And in the description box, you just need to brief about your policy which you are going to create. So that will definitely help your subordinates. Uh, in case you are not available, so he she can just uh, click on the policy and get an idea like what you have created here. So I am providing virtual machine for production. So same like uh, you just need to write here as per your convenience. So once you provide the description, basically it's a description is an optional one. So it depends upon you that you want to write yeah or not once you complete the description you just need to click on add so once you click add a pop-up will appear so here in the backup type uh, 
there are multiple options fully incremental differential and synthetic so it depends like what you are going to plan for your infra so in my case i have selected full backup and in the next step it's called schedule pattern so just click here so here in the schedule name i'm going to write a uh, schedule name so here i am typing monthly full so i'm going to uh, create a policy for my virtual machines that will help to take the back full backup on a monthly basis so here i'm select going to select the monthly so in the monthly firstly you have to provide a time like at what time the backup will start so in so i'm keeping a default so in the next option uh, there is you can see uh, there are two options available uh, day wise or you can also specify the date wise so here we will go with the day wise so here i am selecting like on every uh, first of month uh, my full backup will get triggered and if you want to repeat the full backup on some time period like if you want to repeat on every 8 hours then you just have to select it here so i'm not going to uh, repeat it because I am going to take the monthly backup on the monthly basis only. So just unchecking this one. Now here I am clicking on OK. So here in the task you can see a task has been created with the name monthly full and the job type is also full and here is the pattern that is saying like every month on day 1st at 9 pm my full backup will get triggered. In the next step, uh, we just need to go to the next tab that is associations. Once you click on the association tab, you will get the list of all the servers available. On that, uh, you have to choose like for, for which server uh, you want to associate this policy. So in my case, I'm going to select uh, this ComSub virtual server. So here, now after doing that, just I'm clicking OK. So once you click OK, you can see our policy has been appeared here, which we have created just now. So this is how guys you can create multiple policies as per your workloads. Or if you do not want to create multiple policy, then there is an option of clone also. So you just need to right click here, click on clone. So once you click on clone, a pop up will appear. So, so here you just need to provide a new name uh, with the new descriptions. And also you have to change the schedule policy so just click on edit and the pattern if you want to change the pattern suppose in the second policy you want to go with the second of that particular month then you just need to select in here click OK and suppose here I'm going to provide a name schedule policy weekly so in the association you also need to change it from here in the edit you just need to uncheck this one and select your new client and just click ok so here you can see our new policies has been appeared here with the name schedule policy weekly so that's all for in this video guys i hope uh, you will found this video informative and if so then please don't forget to subscribe my channel and also hit the like button and also press the bell icon so that you will get a notifications of my new videos thank you so much for watching this video goodbye take care